Hello, my name is Agatha and this is the astrological reading for May 2016 for the sign of Libra. This is a very general reading. If you'd like a private consultation, please send an email to duniazada.gmail.com and I'd be delighted to work with you. All the information is below. The new moon uh, happens on the 6th of May at 16 degrees of Taurus and the full moon happens on the 21st of May uh, at 1 degree of Sagittarius. In your case, Libra, the new moon is going to happen on your 8th house, which is the, the house of joint investments, uh, of, of uh, joint finances, of investments, of legacies, of inheritance, of taxes, uh, of death, of the occult, is ma has many meanings. In, it's in a, in a trine with Pluto in Capricorn on your fourth house and with Jupiter uh, in North, Nor North Node in Virgo in your twelfth house. So, this might mean a new beginning in terms of investments. Uh, you're looking at the investments you make, you're looking at your long-term plans in, in that department, at your retirement plan, and you decide to make changes that will bring stability and bring greater financial uh, structure uh, and stability um, and return in the future. So you might be re revising uh, your uh, your investments in, in your uh, um, in your retirement plan. Uh, another way of reading it is that you might receive an inheritance, uh, a very, you know, and maybe not just you, maybe an inheritance when you, uh, with a sibling. And maybe you, Libra, take kind of take charge uh, of where these assets sh should be um, invested, if it's money, where it should go, if it's uh, properties, how they should be, ma be managed. But managed and you Libra, you are a leader type of sign, but you lead in a very subtle sort of manner. No one knows that you're taking the lead. You are a bit subtle about it. So you might take domain, you might take control of these assets that you might share with someone else because maybe you have like a bigger, a better, in your opinion, a better vision in terms of, of where to put this money or how to manage this assets and properties the the only problem problem is that your siblings a sibling or siblings might not agree with you so it might there might be a conflict with you in that in, in that in this area so the way to um, resolve this conflict is to be detailed the investments like i'm putting the money here i'm managing the money in this way and explain in a very precise manner your long term vision just tell them but be very detailed so that's th this is why and, and tell them if you if you cannot touch the money now only 10 years from now from now explain to them why and explain to them the returns be very detailed okay and be nice and be gentle and all of that um and uh so this could be inheritance this could be looking at your um, investments so this, whatever it happens in, in, in terms of joint finances, it's a, a great new start, a great new beginning that brings stability and, and, um, and sound financial, financial structure. And then the full moon happens on the 21st of May. In your case, it's in the third house, Libra. And this full moon, which is a culmination or an ending for some, has a um conjunction with mars in sagittarius retrograde they are very close together so there might be some sort of how do, why do i say a conflict or even a very strong heated argument with a neighbor or with a sibling if it's a sibling it again i would say it's because of what happened two weeks ago uh, in terms of um, money finances legacies inheritance something like that uh, maybe Maybe there's a very strong heated argument and conflict with with a with a sibling. Um, I would say maybe a male, but not necessarily a very defining type of argument. You know, uh, another way of reading this: if it's not a sibling, it's a neighbor, for whatever reason. Um, another way of reading this is because it's uh, it's the house connected with communi communications. You might receive a communication, and this com uh, a, a message of some kind, and this message kind of kind of could be very aggressive and kind of uh, happens out, out of the blue. It's like an, an, a, something that you truly did not expect. And uh, so, and it could be quite aggressive. That, uh, a, sort of, uh, a sort of aggressiveness 
uh, that you were not expecting. Another way of reading it is that if you have a car, uh, your car might kind of dead, be dead, like just die and have like a, a malfunction of some kind and you don't understand it. And maybe you try and you take it to the mechanic, uh, you take it to the shop and they don't get it. Maybe there's, because Mars is retrograde, it might be difficult to, for, for, uh, for the malfunction to be repaired or even to be found. So, or your car might just die. Many uh, the car might be very old or might be, be beyond repair, and it, maybe you like start thinking about getting a new car around the twenty first of May because your car just died. So, um, so there's a possibility of many different, many different meanings. And this that's it, Libra. This is the reading that I have for you. I hope you have a great month. If you like a private consultation, please send an email to dunyazada@gmail.com. I'd be delighted to work with you. Bye bye.